All right, what's up everyone? In this episode, we're gonna be doing a full review of the latest Tesla software update, 2021.24.4. So without a further ado, let's dive right in. All right, the first new feature is Disney Plus. Basically, if you go here, you go into entertainment. So you can now watch Disney Plus. So we're not connected to Wi-Fi right now, so it's not gonna work. But I pretty much never used Disney Plus in my entire life but it will be handy to other people who really like Disney Plus. Now there's car wash mode, which closes all the windows, locks the charge port, and disables windshield wipers, sentry mode, walkaway door locks, and parking sensor chimes. For automatic car washes with conveyor belts, the free roll option shifts to neutral and prevents the parking brake from automatically applying if you leave. To access car wash mode, tap controls, service, car wash mode. So we're gonna go here, we go into service and car wash mode. So click enter car wash mode. And I just heard the windows locking right now. And if you're in an automatic car wash mode, you have to press the brake pedal and shift into drive. And if you want to exit car wash mode, you tap here. Now mirror auto dim. What's new is now you can disable mirror auto dim or enable it. So if you go to controls, you go to the mirrors and here you can enable mirror auto dim or disable it so we're gonna keep it on now dash cam improvements so whenever an accident happens with your vehicle it will automatically save the footage now range display this is my favorite so you can now switch between battery percentage and distance units by tapping the range display next to the battery icon so you just tap here as you can see it went to the percentage you tap again it goes to the mileage and look at this it also saves it on your profile. Press it again, miles. Before, if you wanted to switch between those two, you had to go to controls, display, you had to scroll and switch between here, which took some more time to do. Now you just tap it, it just happens. Now remain connected to Wi-Fi and drive. You now have the ability to keep the Wi-Fi on even when shifting into gear. New language support, so you have some more languages here. Now, just like the previous software update video I did, these aren't the only features of the software update. I noticed something else too. So when you go to controls and then you go to software, you can see the design of this car animation right here is the exact same as this one. Before it would just show the side profile of the vehicle. Now it matches the one here and it does look nicer like this. I like this design. All right, so those are the new features of the latest software update. I really like them. I think they're really cool. Still kind of bummed that V11 isn't here yet. I'm super excited for that software update, especially the bird's eye view. But anyways, that's gonna wrap it up for today's episode. Thanks everybody for watching this episode. Smash the like and subscribe button. Turn on the notifications so you don't miss out on any new posts. Send a comment down below and catch you guys in the next episode.